صلوا على الحبيب صلى الله تعالى على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم once after offering Juma salam on the 10th of Muharram Al Haram, the noble Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam sat near a pillar. Mashhad al Nabwi, Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq radiyallahu anhu, was also sat by him. The Mu'izzin of the noble messenger Sayyidina Bilal radiyallahu anhu began to call out the azan, and when he said, "Ashhadu an." Muhammad Rasulullah. Then Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhu placed the nails, meaning he didn't kiss them, the sound of kissing didn't come out. He placed the nails of both thumbs on both of his eyes and said, Qurrata Aini Bika Ya Rasulullah. When Sayyidina Bilal Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhu Finished giving the azan. The noble Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam stated, O oh Abu Bakr, the one who does what you did, Allah Almighty will forgive all of his past and future sins. Insha'Allah Azza wa Jal. And this, this is mentioned in Tafsir, Ruhul Bayan, volume 7, page 229, summarized. Moving forward. Acting upon this practice of Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu, not only on the day of Ashura, but whenever you hear the blessed name of the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, make it a habit to kiss your thumbs and place them on your eyes. So it is stated by the noble Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the one who spends on his children on the 10th of Muharram, Allah Almighty will grant him prosperity all year round. Sayyidina Sufyan radiallahu ta'ala who stated, We practice this hadith and found it exactly as it stated. Hakim al Ummad, Mufti Ahmad Yarhan Naimi, rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi states, With regards to this blessed hadith, if you prepare various kinds of food on the 10th of Muharram for your children, servants, workers, the poor, and needy, then inshallah there will be blessings in those foods for the whole year. Muslims cook Halim on this day of Ashura. The origin of this hadith because in Halim there is every kind of food. Wheat, meat, lentils, rice, etc. So inshallah ta'ala there will be a blessing in all these foods in the home of the one who cooks Halim. He further states, remember you should keep a fast yourself on the day of Ashura and feed children and the poor well. Hence, this hadith does not contradict the fast of Ashura. So, inshallah, the day of Ashura and the account of Karbala. A very short statement, inshallah, then I'm finished. It mentions here, O devotees of the blessed companions and the Ahlul Bayt, the month of Muharram al-Haram reminds us every year of the martyrs of Karbala. And especially, the maternal grandson of the noble messenger, the leaders of the martyrs, the lofty Imam Sayyidina Imam Hussein radiallahu ta'ala anhu, because on the 10th of Muharram, 61 AH, a great battle in the history of Islam took place between the truth and the falsehood, which is referred to as the account of Karbala, the determined way of the martyrs of Karbala. Radiyallahu anhum gave a great lesson to the people of the truth to remain firm in front of evil and to sacrifice one's life for the sake of Islam when needed. If Sayyidina Imam Hussein radiyallahu ta'ala anhu pledged allegiance to Yazid, then the entire army would have been at his feet. He would have been respected. Treasures, of, treasures would have been given to him and the wealth of the world would have been placed in his feet. But the one whose heart is free from the desire of the world, rather of those service the world itself is, what would he want to do with the beauty of this world? Is a question. Sayyidina Imam Hussein radiallahu ta'ala anhu totally renounced the luxuries of this world 
and wholeheartedly welcomed the difficulties he faced in the path of truth. Despite facing such an amount of calamities, he did not allow even the thought of pleading allegiance to an open wrongdoer like the wretched Yazid to come into his blessed heart. He agreed to sacrifice his house and spill his own blood, but he did not allow the dignity of Islam to be trashed by Allah, the people of Karbala, offering their lives in the battlefield of Karbala for the sake of Islam is a great lesson for the Muslims until the end time. Whilst embedding the love and affection of the blessed Ahlul Bayt in our hearts, may we also enlighten our lives in this world and the hereafter by acting upon their blessed seerah and may we attain the pleasure of Allah Almighty. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Inshallah, my dear Islam brothers, try to make it a habit to join the weekly sunnah inspiring ijtimaz with the intention of sending reward to the, uh, the family of Rasulullah, the Ahlul Bayt, inshallah, every Thursday at 8pm and for sisters every Sunday at 11am inshallah. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala sayyidil mursaleen amma ba'ad jazallahu anna muhammadan ma huwa ahlu allahu rabbu muhammadin salla alayhi wa sallama nahnu ibadu muhammadin salla alayhi wa sallama O oh Allah Almighty accept our salat al-asr accept this short dars in your court Ya Allah Azawajal, many parents, Islamic brothers and sisters have recited Surah Al-Ikhlas a thousand times today. Ya Allah Azawajal, with the blessing of this Surah Al-Ikhlas, we convey this reward to the beloved and blessed Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We also convey this reward to the Ahl al-Bayt, Ya Allah Azawajal, the family of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We convey this reward to Imam Hassan and Hussein, Azad Ali Karam Allah Ta'ala Wajal Kareem and Bibi Fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha and the beloved wives of the beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We also convey this reward to all the Prophets of Allah from Sayyidina Adam alayhi salatu wa salam to all the way to Sayyidina Muhammad the last and final Prophet. Ya Allah azza wa jal, we send the reward to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ya Rabbil Alameen we also convey this reward to all the fourth shudigan those who have passed away from this world Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, we convey this reward to the souls, especially Ya Allah, our parents that have departed from this world. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, one of the relatives has made Halim, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, for the Isali Salawab, for her beloved husband, Aji Salim. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, may Allah grant them a highest place in paradise and give them bakshish. And also the Muqtadis who have joined us today, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, in this dars, in the remembrance of Karbala. And those who are fasting, may Allah Azza wa Jal accept their fast. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal also forgive them. And if they have any deceased brothers and sisters and parents who have passed away, may Allah Azza wa Jal grant them the highest level of paradise. Forgive their sins, Ya Allah. Protect them from the fire of hell, Ya Allah. And give them entry into paradise in Jannah al Firdaus. We also convey this reward to Sayyidi Abdul Qadir Jilani. And by the qurb of Sayyidina Abdul Qadir Jilani, we convey this reward to all the awliya ikram, our sheikhs. Mawlil Iyas Sattar Qadi, Damad Barakat Mu'aliya, Aji Abdul Habib Bai, Imran Al-Tari, Ya Allah, all the ulama, Ahl Sunnat Wal Jamaat, we convey to their parents as well, and we convey the reward to our families, our wives, our children. May Allah Azza wa Jal, in this blessed day of 10th of Muharram, Ya Allah, grant our wife, our children, our mothers, our fathers, good health. Ya Allah, protect them from nazar bad protect them from the tricks of shaitan, protect them from their nafs, give them the ability to perform the duties upon you, Ya Allah, protect them from any type of wrongful activities, sinful activities, protect them from social media, protect them from the fitan of Al-Masih Khad-Dajjal, Ya Allah Azawajal, and make the children obedient towards their parents. Mm -hmm. Allah Almighty, protect us from all types of calamities, asmaish, tests and tribul tribulations, we heard the sacrifices of Imam Hussein. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, give us the ability to sacrifice our worldly time for the sake of Islam, for this pleasure for you, Ya Allah. And Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, the remaining part that we have for our life, 
Let us spend it in ibadat by reading the Quran, by performing our five daily salahs, by fasting in the month of Ramadan, and by performing Hajj as well. Give us ability to keep reciting the Kalima Taiba and protect our Iman, protect the Iman of our children, and grant his death with Iman in the beautiful city of Madinah al Manawra at the feet of the beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and give his mother fun in Jannat al Baqi and without accountability give his entry into paradise and grant us your vision in paradise Ya Rabbal Alameen Ya Allah a few dua requests Ya Allah Zawajal our Haji Salam uh, May Allah Zawajal grant her daughter Shifa they've uh, conveyed uh, the, the children have conveyed Ya Allah uh, the Surah Al Ikhlas as a reward Ya Allah Zawajal bless their family grant them Shifa Ya Allah uh, like uh, uh, our Isa Qurban as well, Ya Allah grant him Shifa, his family, they also donated the Isa Iswab. Our Haseeb and Akib, their family as well as, as Ya Allah requested a special dua for them as well. Ya Allah accept all this sincere dua. Ya Allah and also uh, bless the book to these as well and accept this sincere dua. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد بعد للجود والكرم وعاله وبارك وسلم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين